we have to derive the joule thomson coefficient mu for real gas and ideal gas first of all we take the real gas and mu the coefficient is the change of temperature with pressure at constant enthalpy that's del t del p at constant enthalpy h here h is the function of temperature and pressure so so we can write dh as del h del t at constant pressure into dt plus del h del p at constant temperature in dp now this del h del t at constant pressure this term can be written as cp is specific heat as a constant pressure but there is no term for this so we have to redirect it we all know that h equal to tds plus vdp so del h del p at constant temperature will be t del s del p plus v and after maxwell transformation of del s del p it will be minus del v del t at constant pressure plus v this is the maxwell transformation or maxwell relation and now putting this relation there we get now here the enthalpy h is z change of enthalpy is zero because h is a constant so dh zero so we get so dt dp this is equal to 1 by cp now this all happened in con constant enthalpy h so there will be h and this term is called mu coefficient so this is the coefficient of joule thomson experiment of for real gas now we have to derive it for ideal gas we know that for ideal gas pv equal to rt for one mole or after derivating it with respect to t we get that Now from this, del V del T is equal to R by P. Now putting this relation in our equation of mu, we get one by C P into T. That's R by P minus V. And we can see that. From this P equal to R T equation, V equal to R T by P. So we rearrange it. We get R T by P minus V, and that is equal to one by C P. Putting the value from the equation, V equal to R T by P. We get V minus V, and this is zero. So for ideal gas, mu is zero. The coefficient is zero, and for real gas, this is like this.